Don't get intimidated by these logically complete questions. Sometimes you need to bring in outside information or some sort of like logical conclusion, but other times they just kind of say the answer. So let's see which type this is. Even with the widespread adoption of personal computers, many authors still choose to write and revise their novels by hand and only then transcribe the final version on a computer. It may be tempting to speculate about how a novel written this way would be affected if it had been exclusively typed instead, but each novel is a unique entity resulting from a specific set of circumstances. So it's tempting to speculate, but mm, it doesn't exactly say it, but it basically implies we should not speculate. So that's kind of my guess here, but uh, we should not speculate or we should not, yeah, guess what's going on. We don't know. Basically, we, we can't know, right? Because they're all unique, right? So there's some strong words in here. Uh, so therefore, in order to increase their efficiency, authors who currently write their novels largely by hand should instead work only on a computer. Well, no, no, no. The point is that we don't know what's going on, right? We don't know what would have happened if the author had made a different choice, right? It's tempting to speculate what, how it would be affected, but each novel is unique and results from its own circumstances. So the point of the passage is we don't know. So to say that one thing is um, should be done, it, it should, is more efficient, this is definitely a positive connotation when we don't have that from the passage. B. Authors who do most of their drafting and revising by hand likely have more success than those who work entirely on a computer. Again, they're comparing, they're ranking things here. So I know that that's a very common trap always, but here it's very obvious, right? The, the whole point of the passage is that we shouldn't compare. We don't know. We don't know what's going on. C. Novels written by hand take less time to produce on average than novels written on a computer. Again, comparison, right? I mean, in fact, all of these choices really are comparisons. They're trying to get us to say that one thing is better. And maybe you have a personal preference. Like, I wouldn't want to write a novel by hand. That seems excruciating. But that's not the point of the passage. So don't bring your own ideas and biases in. D, there is no way to reasonably evaluate how a work would be different if it had been written by other means. Yeah, that's what we should say. Like, we shouldn't guess. We don't know. We don't know anything. So this is literally just repeating that idea. So this kind of proves to me that, like, these logic questions are not always that bad. They have some very... Uh, strong words here that really indicate what the point of the passage is. We're just kind of mimicking those and following them through. So uh, try to notice when they're telling you something doesn't matter, right? In an experiment or whatever, when they're like, okay, we shouldn't draw a conclusion here. We, we don't know if this experiment was good. Those are the kinds of sentences that need to pop out. They need to be strong, right? So it's maybe not just one word here. It's more like a, a string of words, but I really just latched onto that idea. It's tempting to speculate, but we shouldn't speculate. That's very clear to me what we are supposed to take away from this, and that's why this question was so much easier for me.